In this video, I will share three link building case studies that will blow your mind. As a bonus, I will also reveal a very nasty bait and switch method that a very well-known UK brand has done that helped them get on page one for keywords that generate millions of pounds in revenue for them. The backlinks that I will show you are not your typical SEO backlinks. These are the highest tier, highest quality organic backlinks. These are the ones that Google is talking about. You can actually scale these links to even hundreds per day and Google will not penalize you for them because these are the links that they call organic links. So let's start with the first case study and dive into my PC so I can show you what I'm talking about. The first link building case study is for a website called cosmetify.com. They are an affiliate website where they get paid a commission of about 2% every time they send a user to a third party website where they can buy stuff. And if they buy within 30 days, then they will get a commission. It's a simple model. All they have to do is just drive traffic to these, these product pages. And then if the user will buy something, then they will get a commission on, on, on the purchase. In order to create content that has got a potential to gain organic backlinks, they have set up a page called the Cosmetify Index. It's an interactive page based on a case study they have done where they rank the world's biggest beauty brands on factors such as their social reach and engagement. So what they have done is they looked at the number of their Instagram followers, the Instagram engagement rate and the Instagram hashtags. And based on these numbers, they compiled a list of the most popular brands on Instagram because that's what this page is. Once they put this page live, what they've done is they have pitched hundreds of journalists from high tier publications and let's just see what the results are. If you look at this chart, you can see the campaign was launched towards the end of November 2019 and this looks like they've done two outreach campaigns. This was the initial one and then they've probably done another one. As you can see here, there's another big jump in the number of referring domains. So they've done two outreach campaigns with the same page and they have gotten 127 domain names linking back to this page alone. And if we check the backlinks, you will see that they are all high tier publications. Even Search Engine Journal talks about them. Vogue, PopSugar, Yahoo. These are the holy grail of backlinks. This is what Google loves. This is what Google recommends. Google says, build backlinks that are natural. And actually Google said, don't build backlinks. Just create something amazing and then others naturally link back to the page. What they've done is they reached out to all of these publications and this is exactly what Google wants, right? They want you to create content that is great and then let others link back to it. You might wonder how a campaign like this can affect the website as a whole and how can it affect the rankings as this is not a money page. This is an asset page as they call it. It's a content asset page and the links don't go to the actual homepage. They come to this link, internal link. So you might be wondering, it's going to transfer some link juice to the other pages. So let's just take this subpath out and see how the actual domain is doing. If you look at this, you can see how from November, it's got this big jump. And then when, when they launched the campaign again, it's got another jump. So definitely those backlinks provide authority to the website as a whole, and it helps with, with rankings. Just look at look how they are exploding. The next link building case study is for buzzbingo.com. They are a website where you can play bingo online and this, this falls into the realms of online betting. It's a real competitive niche and it's really hard to get backlinks. But these guys have managed to get hundreds of backlinks just with one single campaign. They've done lots of campaigns, but I'm just going to highlight one campaign that they've done. It's probably their most successful one. What they have done is they created a page called InstaWealth. On this page, they list out the top earners from Instagram. So they create a nice interactive interface where you can check who earned the most via their sponsored Instagram posts. They also have different categories here. You can sort the list by celebrity, sport, fashion, travel, fitness and beauty and more sponsored posts. And they just go on and create some nice, interesting data based on what they found on the Instagram influencers, right? It's a simple set of data, which is available online. Anyone could research these. But what they have done is they put it in a nice interface. They, they, they visualize it in a way that's user-friendly and it's kind of pleasant to the eye. And that's why this campaign, which is 
kind of simple, but because they created in a visually pleasant way, then they had great asset that they could just go out and pitch it to like journalists and pitch it to webmasters. And let's just see what this page generated. Almost 400 unique domains linking back to them. And let's just check check out the quality of the domains. It's not just any domains, but Business Insider, The Sun, Insider.com, Metro, New York Post, really, really high quality backlinks from authoritative websites. Look at this DR91, DR90. This is the holy grail of links, right? This is what you want. This is what Google, again, what Google recommends to build something great and then let others link back to it naturally. And this is what happened here. So now let's, let's see what impact this campaign had on the website as a whole. We go to overview in Ahrefs and you can see the campaign was launched towards the end of October 2019. So now let's see how this campaign performed and how it helped the actual website as a whole to gain rankings. You might be wondering, yes, this is again, it's an inner page. What has it got to do with like the domain? Is it, is it going to help it rank? And we will find this out. So just remember, the campaign was launched towards the end of October 2019. Let's check SEMrush. As you can see, the magic happened in November 2019. The estimated traffic of the website was around 300,000 and it doubled in traffic within a month. So they launched the campaign, they created lots of buzz around buzzbingo.com, right? And they doubled the traffic. This is what works for a competitive niche like Buzz Bingo, right? They are in the almost in like online betting niche. And if you try to beat this with blogger outreach, well, good luck. You will not be able to have this with the traditional backlinks and with the backlink generating methods, right? You need something out of the box, you need something creative. And these guys have definitely done it. Now let's jump onto the next case study. And the next case study is in, in the finance niche and it's about a website called Cash Lady. Let's see what they have done and see how they generated lots of backlinks to their website as well with the same kind of creative campaign. Cash Lady, they provide payday loans, right? The bad reputation. You might be wondering how do you even get backlinks to this website, to this niche because payday loans have got such a bad reputation. So let's see what they have done to get really good quality backlinks to this website. So they have created a page called YouTube League. On this page, they just list the top earners on YouTube and they create a nice table where you can sort them by name, country, category, number of subscribers, average views and total estimated earnings. All of this data is available publicly. It's not hidden data. Anyone can create this. But what they have done is they create a nice interface they presented the information in a very pleasant way. And that's probably why they are successful with this because it's not just some random set of data just splashed onto a screen, but they create a nice interactive interface. And they went on and pitched journalists with this piece of content. And let's see what happened. They launched it at the beginning of March, 2020, like this year. And they acquired over 80 referring domains linking back to them. So let's see what kind of backlinks they have acquired. So search engine journal, they, they mentioned them here. That, that's a good link. And, and lots of like Lad Bible, Yahoo, The Sun, AOL, huge websites with high authority. And they all mentioned this page and they linked back to it. So it seems to have been a fairly successful campaign. But the question is, did it actually help the rankings of the main website and on all of the money keywords? So let's find this out with SEMrush. As you can see in January, February, they had an estimated traffic of 70,000 and the campaign is being launched at the beginning of March and check this out. It doubled the traffic of the website. Just bear in mind that this is not the actual traffic of the website because some might argue, yes, it's because more people stayed at home during lockdown, but it's not the case because this tool, SEMrush, is actually checking the rankings of the important keywords of the website and it makes a prediction of the traffic that it might get if a certain percentage of people click on the, on the results, right? So it's not, this is not the actual traffic. This is the estimated traffic by SEMrush based on the position of the keyword, the search volume, and the estimated CTR for each position on in top 10 or like in Google. So this is how they do it. This is how the big guys are doing it, right? If you have the money to invest in creative campaigns, then you can get pretty good backlinks and you can get pretty good traffic boost to your website. So now as a bonus, I will show you a bait and switch method that 
Go Compare has done. It's really nasty. What they have done is they launched a similar campaign to this. They attracted lots of backlinks and then what they have done is they've redirected that page after a while to their actual money page to the pet insurance page, which now obviously ranks number one. So let's jump onto this case study and let me show you what they have done. So what Go Compare has done is they created a similar creative campaign. And this is a web archive because this page is not available online now. So I've tried to find a history of the page on the web, but it doesn't work. It will just break if I click here. But what they have done is they created a pet names interactive page where you can discover the most popular pet names in the UK and see how your pet name ranks against thousands of others. And they launched this campaign. They got some good backlinks to it, 27 unique domains. And if you see like Cosmopolitan Express, quite, quite good domains linking back to them, right? And what they've done after a while, they have redirected this page to their actual money page, like the pet insurance page. So it transfers all of these backlinks value to the actual pet insurance page. Page. It's called bait and switch. So they create something great. They attract lots of backlinks to this page. And then after a while, they redirect this page to the actual money page. It is genius as much as it is kind of evil. It's like get journalists to link to this page because it's great. But then after a while, they use this to their advantage and redirect everything here. And obviously they are number three for pet insurance keyword. And no wonder if they do techniques like this, they would definitely rise to a top because they are leveraging the journalists and editorial backlinks to push their money pages on top, which is genius, but it's also evil. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. As usual, on this channel, I just share whatever I find cool and whatever I found interesting myself. Sometimes it resonates with other people like yourself, and I hope it does. I hope it does inspire you. What I want to do is just raise the awareness of what's possible in SEO and highlight other campaigns that generated good results in the hope that it will inspire us inspire me, inspire you to do great things as well in SEO. I hope you will have a great day or great evening, depending on where you're watching this. And until next time, have a blessed life.